morning guys we're out here with the GSX I just rolled out of bed as you can tell <coughs> excuse me <coughs> should have brought a drink out oh so what we're gonna be doing today I wanted to jump right into this one uh, everything has been pretty good with this car so far uh, temps have been pretty much under control there's just one more modification that I wanted to make to my front end as of right now and uh, try to help things out cool a little bit more a little bit quicker I guess <coughs> Jeez, excuse me as you can kind of see right here guys this bumper has a, a intercooler pipe going right across the face where the uh, only little bit of air can hit that radiator <coughs> and that's what the ducting was there to help so what I've got is a little kit over here that I picked up online I'll link in the description and I'll show you in just a second here. All right, guys, so what I've got here is a two-piece kit of these carbon fiber, handmade carbon fiber bumper vents. And what I'm thinking about doing is I got the left and the right. If you guys look for these online, you're going to find one for about $55. I got both of them for that price shipped. So I'll link that in the description below. These uh, said they were going to come in... September 28th, but they actually showed up I think yesterday or the day before so it came in about two weeks two three weeks as opposed to Two months because it does come from China. So beware if you need them tomorrow. You're not gonna get them tomorrow, but they're pretty good quality uh, They're nice and rigid nice and, and solid. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put one probably on the right side here and the other one on the opposing side I was looking at doing them like that but I don't think that that looks right in comparison to where the Mitsubishi logo is I don't know I'm gonna I'm gonna fidget around with this for a second here and figure out my placement but I do think that following that star shape I'm gonna throw them like that right up on the upper edge here um, I'm gonna do one on one side obviously do the other on the other side kind of like something like that right across here so I'm gonna have to do some measuring real fast I'm gonna have to notch out a little bit of the ducting that I built and just figure out where exactly these are gonna sit because I know the bumper the push bar is right behind here and there's all this open space right above it so I'm thinking they'll, they'll look pretty good if we let me see if I can hold it there and get it in the camera for you oh that looks like poopy there something kind of like that but yeah, I'm gonna set them back up here. Sorry, I'm wobbling this camera all over, guys. Let's see. I mean, you can, you can surmise, you can get the idea right out of this. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and put a straight line right across with some painter's tape. I'm gonna take some measurements, and I think what I'm gonna try to do is follow the seam on this lip right here, and uh, measure off of that, and end up being, I don't know half inch off of that or going pretty close to flush with that and just let's see looking straight on we're looking uh, someplace someplace right around I'd say there so it'll kind of go in like that and it'll be another one on the other side and this will actually give me a little bit more airflow right here and hopefully help cool this radiator down just a little bit more the uh only problem that I saw, and I don't consider it too bad of a problem, is well on the interstate, I was driving for about 45 minutes yesterday, and it was about 85 degrees out. Uh, my temps on throttle going uphill just climb up to about 210, and they'll level off once you stop on the throttle, but if you're not in vacuum, if you're you know, right around 1 PSI, you know, 0, 1 PSI on your gauge, uh, it starts to heat up pretty quick. So. I don't like 210. I want to see something a little bit lower than that. So we're going to pull this, uh, well, we're going to line this up. We're going to straighten all this stuff out. And then we're going to make our markings, get our front bumper pulled off, cut it. And I'm not sure if I'm going to fix this with some screws or rivets yet, but I have both. So I may do some uh, like thread cert style setup on here on this bumper. Just punch a couple of small holes, thread cert it, and make it so I can bolt them on, unbolt them. But either way, we're going to get this thing put together and add some more cooling to the the nose of this bad boy and I mean the, the intercooler kits great I, I love it it's just the way that that upper intercooler pipe goes from the right tank up 
over and back into the engine bay. It uh, kind of blocks the only little bit of access that I gained from cutting out the black plastic strip that was here. And it definitely helped, don't get me wrong. We're not you know, overheating anymore at all. It's just getting a little bit warm still. And this will hopefully help commandeer that, so. All right, so I've got some of this masked off. I took and measured the outer diameter of each part. Uh, they're about 112 millimeters. So I went from this lip down 120 millimeters on both sides, then measured from the edges out 10 millimeters on both sides and just tape lined it so that's nice and square, I'm sure you can tell. Um, now what I'm gonna do is go straight across this lip 10 millimeters down and tape that down. And then I'm gonna have basic, my, my outline, I'm gonna follow this line right here. Uh, so it's gonna go right along there. So this is the, the inside corner and the bottom edge, and that's what I want to kind of do with it. So yeah, I want it to kind of get close to flush right here, and uh, that's where we're going to leave it. So I'm going to get this uh, taped off the rest of the way, and of course it started to sprinkle while I'm out here. So i got to wipe off that edge so I can mark it some more. I'm just going to use some Goo Gone to take the uh, little dots of Sharpie off of there, which will be fine. But once I get that lined up, I'm going to do a little bit of notching real quick and well basically get ready for my final cuts or my start cuts I'm not sure I think I'm gonna also have to measure how wide this shape is here because the lip overhangs obviously and we only want the hole as big as it needs to be so I'm gonna get that measured up get it marked up and uh, I'll show you guys what I get I'll show you guys what it ends up looking like all right guys so after a whole bunch of measuring checking double checking triple checking checking again this is the shape that I've got I'm gonna cut this right here out just from here to here right across and right there now to my measurements with that odd shape that this has behind it lined up with my tape we should fit right about there and we may have to come out just a little bit on these bottom corners, but I'm gonna try cutting a small cut first and then do the bigger cut second. So I, I might have to go a little diagonal here to make this thing fit exactly the way I want it to. So, I don't know, we may have to, uh, let's see. Yeah, we may have to come out just a skosh, but. We're pretty close, so I'm going to double check my measurements one more time and I'm going to start chopping away. So I got my little tiny cuts done. These are just sitting in the holes that I made. Do not fall over here. All right. So if we take this off, you can see the opening. This is gonna sit just like that. And I'm gonna screw it in. And it actually, the cuts are perfect. <laughs> uh, there's a little bit of extra space on the back side here but that's fine. I wanted to have a little bit more room for adjustability. Uh, now I just gotta get these two lined up square, fasten them in, and that's gonna be that. So I'm gonna start peeling this tape, cleaning this area up, 
wash this little bumper off in the headlights because there's a lot of fiberglass dust. Definitely wear gloves and a mask and glasses. You know, be safe when you cut a bumper up because the fiberglass shoots everywhere. I'm sure you can see it in the uh, high speed. Um, yeah, I'm going to get this cleaned up, get these things put in with some fasteners, and I'll show you guys the end result. Okay, so guys, we have landed here. Let me see if I can get a better shot of the whole front end for you. There you go. Doesn't look too bad. I did notice that uh, one of them is just a tad bit off from the other shape, but it's hardly noticeable. I'm gonna swing you over this way. We'll get a good top-down view. Uh, I'd say it came out pretty damn nice. I actually like it. And uh, this is hopefully gonna promote some cooling. It actually will go straight shot in to the radiator right back in there behind the hood latch assembly there. Uh, so hopefully this promotes enough airflow to keep this thing nice and cool on the highway because I know it was getting choked up before. Um, like I said, it wasn't overheating, but 210 is still, I feel like 210 is just on the warm side. I know fans don't kick on for most of our cars around 204 to 206 to cool things down and they do run a little bit hot, so that's just the way the DSM world is. But now I've got these in here, this will hopefully open things up a bit for me. They're nice and square, they look great, and they're carbon fiber. Let me see if I can get a shot from off to the side. Oh, Yeah, they don't look bad at all. They look like they were meant to be. And now we've got a little bit more air ventilation, so things will be happy. Next on the to-do list is going to be taking this bad boy to a car wash and buffing it. And then we got to look into fixing some, some paint spots, like the little dimple right there on the hood. Whew. Well, it's been fun. I know it was a short one, guys. But hey, if you stuck with it this long, I appreciate you watching. Now you know how you can install a couple of these relatively inexpensive 50-something dollar uh, bumper vents to get a little bit more airflow after you block your whole front mount intercooler radiator passage here. Well, block it with a front mount airflow. You know what I'm saying. I don't got to explain it and spell it out. But anyway, guys, thanks again for watching. Hope you're all being safe. And as always, we will see you right back here with another episode of today's Project Guide very, very soon. Take care, folks.